Hello ladies and gentlemen this is again Shrek from Smartherd welcome to ruby tutorial number 8 in this tutorial i am going to talk about more on methods now firstly i will talk about methods for default parameters in ruby now suppose we are having a method def test and inside that we are having parameters such as a and b and here we are assigning few default values a equal to ruby b equal to pearl brother of ruby then put as the program language is hash curly braces ruby sorry a let's copy paste it control c v b the programming language is b for this function for this two statements to be printed just we have to call the test function test just save it and execute it here we go programming language is ruby the programming language is perl here we are not sending any parameters to the test function we are just simply calling the test function and inside the text test function we are having default parameters a equal to ruby and b equal to perl and here we go we are getting the output as a it is getting interpolated as ruby and b getting interpolated as perl now what if we write a function test c programming comma c plus plus now let's check the output yeah here we go we're getting the output as like this first test function is executed so two outputs are coming programming language is ruby programming language is perl then test is sending two parameters c and c plus plus in that case ruby is giving more priority to this c and c++ that is actual argument has more argument than these default par the default arguments in the test function now one more thing i would like to show you guys in ruby it is not necessary that you follow the exact syntax you can just remove these braces give space just save it and execute it yeah here we go we are getting the same output unlike c c++ and java you don't have to follow the exact syntax in ruby the output will be same that is why it is called a programmer friendly language now guys i will show you how to return values from methods in ruby first for that we have to define a method test then put some values i equal to 10 j equal to 20 k equal to 30 now In C and C++ we used to return only one values but here in Ruby you can multi return multiple values at a time by simply writing return i comma j comma k very simple just call this function test when test function is called it is being replaced by three values 10 20 and 30 so let us assign some variable to it x equal to test so all these three values i j k is getting assigned to x now let us print this values put as i sorry put as x just save it and execute it here we go we are getting the output 10 20 30 at the same time in ruby we are returning three values and it is getting stored in a single variable x and while printing x it is showing all the three values 10 20 and 30 Now guys I will show you how to pass multiple parameters in a single function. So let's strike all these off third in ruby. Now let us define a function def sample inside it just write star test hit enter. Now write put test the number of parameters 
is hash curly braces test dot length if you're not getting it guys don't worry I will explain it just wait for it for I in zero dot triple dot test dot length put this the parameters are hash curly braces interpolation test i very simple now what is missing guys we just have to call the function by simply sample and passing parameters in it let's pass parameters such as shrieks my age 62 not that old <laughs> my sex male fine let's pass another one Zara 42 F branch ETC let's save it and execute it now let's check the output you are getting the bunch of outputs let's maximize it yeah what is happening here guys we are having the sample sample function or method within that we are having the parameters as star test this star test has the capability of storing multiple parameters passed by the sample function here here in the sample function we are passing three parameters in the first statement and in the second statement we are passing the four parameters what is happening that this test function is getting converted into an array so an array can store multiple multiple data so number of parameters is test dot length array name dot length gives you the length of the parameter so in the when when we pass sample shrek 62 m number of parameters is three then after that for i in zero triple dot test dot length this is a loop guys we will talk about it later in detail but as of now i am just explaining you in brief here guys i is a counter whose value varies like this zero one two three four five six like this now the zero triple dot test dot length now let me tell you guys what is this triple dot let's show you by commenting zero triple dot four this implies the value is like zero one two three till three now if you write a double dot here zero double dot four its value will vary like this zero one two three four so in case of triple dot we were having only we were excluding the last value that is four that is zero one two three we are getting so in this case also zero two test dot length minus one test dot length suppose it here it is three so we are getting the values like this zero one two in second statement the parameters are four so zero to test dot length we are getting values like zero one two three which excluded four so in this way the value is varying and this test i this is an array so test zero is shakes test one is 62 test 2 is m in this case in similar way test 0 test 1 test 2 and test 3 in this way we are able to print the, all the data through loop for through the for loop if you're not getting it guys about the for loop we will talk about in detail in future don't worry about it till then if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment like and support in the way you can thank you guys